with Stegosaurus creatures? What? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. I think that's the right call, um... Because we cannot get to that star, even if it was within jump range. Let's try to go to this one. It's off the trail a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Nope, this is not an Uncharted system, which I, I kind of did not expect it to be one. Um, can I make the fuel? I can. Is it going to be worth sending my industrial frigate out on an expedition? I kind of don't think so. Look at that golden vector. I love it. Alright, let's dock at the space station. So, here's what I'm thinking we need. Buried, techno buried salvage technology. Um... Medium refiner, make the cadmium, increase our jump range, and then we need to just get these distress beacons knocked out. So we can use our... we can use our... Um, no, I know where to get the upgrades. Our storage augmentation to add more storage to the golden vector, so let's do that. We'll just keep on upgrading our inventory. Um, this one, I think, is going to be a traditional inventory upgrade. And then let's... <laughs> I kind of want another jetpack upgrade, but then I kind of don't. Let's... um. Let's install another multi-tool upgrade. I kind of don't want to spend my nanites, and I know that I should. There are things we need, but... It just... I want to hoard them. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay. Let's let's learn a Corvax word and get this objective met. Mystery symbol, please. And then we need a lot of Viking words, so we might as well start learning those. Oof, hello, Mr. Viking. Or is it Mrs. Viking? I can never tell. I can never tell. Aggression symbol. Well, we can sell the valuable fruit that we have for money, and we might as well. And we might as well turn in this uh, mission, just because. I'd like to hand in a mission, please, this one. It's a few units. Is there something interesting on the ceiling? Do I not have your attention? That gek was like, huh? Oh, something up here. Man. That's when you think you're trying to talk to somebody. Oh, right on. Why, hello. 
Oof, toxic planet. We need this in our life. I actually, however, though, would like to go to the day side, please. So let's jump around till we see the star, and then we'll cut back in. Okay, the terrain looks a little awkward. Some deep valleys and plateaus. Look at this. Oh, did we we jumped right on a monolith. Look at the fungus on this planet. That's a little unusual. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's land. Let's prepare for planetary analysis. Oh yeah, that's that's your image right there. What unusual mushrooms. Yep, and we visited a toxic planet. Knocking milestones out. And here we can learn a Gek word really fast. We are eternal. Hold on, something is distracting me. It's making all this noise next to me. We have a cave creature. Hold on, I heard you. Oh! Are you, you're not a predator, are you? No, it eats trees. Okay. I saw a large creature up here, I thought. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. All right, let's see what sort of rewards we got. Movement upgrade and hazard protection upgrade and another fossil. Oh, look at this little baby. Look at this one. Oh, hold on. That has to be our pet. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. You're going to be our companion. Oh, he's feeling sad. Let's pet him on the head. Hold on. We need more food. We need more food. Yep. There you go. And get a treat. All right. It's a little creature. All right, well... Go ahead and toss out your ideas for a name, and uh, and we'll name our new pet. Look at it go! Whoa, it's fast! Oh, man! Look at this canyon. visibility. I don't suppose we can get our pet in the shot, can we? No, not really. <laughs> not if we want to also catch the vista. It's kind of down there. You can almost see it. No, we can do better than... Oh. We can do better than that. Yeah. Um. There you go. Us and our pet. Hold on. Let's go back to sunset. Let's go with the vapor filter. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's us and our little pet. I'm good with that. I accept those terms. Okay. Oh, we got something down there. Not super important. Um, you know what I don't see a lot of on this planet is buried technology modules. At all. Oh, hush my mouth. There's a couple. Oh, nice. Alright, well, we'll put the toxic protection module over here. We sort of knew that was going to be a thing. 
right? Like that. And then over here, uh, we will install the movement module this way. Yep, to give us more jetpack storage. And then this needs to be sold. We'll go ahead and use the life support module there. And then, hmm. We might as well scan for a distress signal while we're here on this planet. Abandoned building. It's not really what I want. That's okay. We'll scan another one. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And from there... I think we have another milestone we did not learn yet. Yep. Or we did not receive. For learning the words of our Korvax brethren. <gasps> S-Class Hyperdrive Module. You should know. I'm a big fan of that. We might not even need to upgrade our capital ship in this, if this continues. Totally going to put this on the vector, though. Ugh, we did this wrong. We've totally been flying around with a, with a limited pulse engine. Whoops. 200 light year range. So now we can jump 311. Yeah, we effectively no longer need our capital ship for warping. That is done. So that means the cadmium, not even a thing we... Nope, don't even care about it. Unpin. All right. Let's find and restore a crashed starship. Okay, that distress beacon's a little bit away. So we'll do this one, and then we'll check what are the other planets in this system. Skeletal, Gamma, Barren, Paradise, Sharded. So no Scorched Planet on this system. So I think we'll check this distress beacon, and then we'll just jump. Um, I don't think the capital ship warp is better anymore. Not with the S-Class module we just put on our starship. Because now the warp distance on this thing is like 300. This one has a person as well. Yeah, because look, we're 311 now. Our capital ship is only, um, well, 353. I guess it it says that, but it wasn't letting us go that far. Oh, because it's counting this, and this doesn't, this isn't fully installed yet. Yeah, if this was fully installed, then then this would be representative of the actual amount, but it's not, so. The problem is, I don't think this counts for what we're trying to do. Because it's like, it's not a crashed starship, it's a stranded individual. But I am going to get that buried technology module. Because... Um, hmm. I'm 
thinking about what our options are. We could just go to the Phase 3 Rendezvous. Yeah, there's a there's a guy here, so we're not going to get credit for it. Let's do Let's do another distress beacon scan. Yeah, nothing found. That's That's what I expected. There's a monolith over there. I'm done with this place. I think this planet has given us all that it's going to give. So. With an upgraded warp drive, we could surely get... Halfway? What is it? We can go 300, it's 600 away. Yeah, we can get like halfway. But here, here's the problem is... Oh no, that is a yellow star. Okay, hold on. That's 192. 345, that's out of range. 294 isn't, though. That's a Gex system. We need a Viking system, actually. We need the Viking. Here we go. 291. The problem is we're running out of navigation data, so we might actually need to spend a little bit of time in the space station actually looking for nav data. I was hoping we would have found an undiscovered system, but no, we're a little too close to the um, to the rendezvous path for all of that. Let's begin our docking procedure. We'll purchase a basic inventory spot and then. I guess we'll, we'll learn some Viking words. Actually, let's put that milestone on the screen, right? I don't think we have any more of the inventory upgrades, yeah. Twenty thousand units. That's that's kind of an easy purchase. All right. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need some more launch fuel. We need to actually buy some launch fuel. Corvax convergence cubes. I don't really care about you guys. I'm sorry. It's a fact of life. It just it is. We've got a little bit of salvage data. I know, I thought we were going to crash into the space station. Captain? The warrior's lips curl over their teeth as they deliver a series of elegantly formed barking noises. Though far from friendly, they definitely appear calm. Alright, then teach me a friendship symbol. I think they always teach you, like, the same words in order. I understood none of that. They also are barking at me calmly. Um, how about a Viking symbol? Yes, the Viking word for Viking. Very important. The warrior claps their hand roughly upon my shoulder, looking down at my frame. They appeal to f they appear to feel sorry for my entire being. Oh my gosh. Teach me a technology word then. <laughs> I feel sorry for my being. <laughs> that's that's the Viking for you right there. We're doing pretty good. We might get all ten words right here in the space station. Pathetic. Well, I, under I understood the word pathetic. Teach me an aggression symbol then. Pathetic weak blood. Give me a Viking symbol, please. Interloper. Grah, of course. Whoa. <laughs> we were kind of, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> T 
Teach me about aggression. Coward. Ooh. Well, this one it says we've already visited, but I don't feel like that's the case. Have we visited everybody? Not by Keen at Arms. Hero. Technology symbol. That should do it. Graw. Alright, what do you got? Viking effigy, defensive system upgrades, and standing increase with the Viking. What sort of defensive system upgrades? Oh, a shield module? Terms accepted. Yep, don't even have to think about it. So here's what we'll do. We'll put the aeration membrane there and leave room for the, uh, the scorched upgrade. Since this doesn't really synchronize with any of this stuff anyways. You would think it would connect to the life support, but it does not. I mean, oftentimes the practical experiment of just checking and seeing is the best way to know for sure. Tank of coolant. Am I really going to turn in all this stuff for their reputation? I don't think I care about that stuff enough. I think it's it's just taken up our inventory, so we're just going to sell it. We're going to keep the fireworks, though. Obvious reasons there. I think we're just going to take all the emergency cartographic charts we can get. Let's make sure our inventory is cleared out as it's going to be. And then let's go see what sort of planets we have in this system. We could always try to go back to the first system that we started at. Because it was an abandoned system, so it's likely a tectonic planet? Oh, that's going to be a, vol a volcanic planet. Um, I don't think that counts as a scorched planet, but let's go check it out. Volcanic planets with ocean are always really, really fun. Plus, that'll give us at least one scan with an emergency chart. Let's go at least near the ocean. Yeah, kind of to this bay here. Okay, beginning atmospheric entry. Prepare for planetary analysis. Okay, definitely you can tell the surface was molten at one point and cooled. The areas with water seem to be pretty shallow. Oh, crashed freighter. Yes, please and thank you. This is one of the ones we need. Let's make sure we're tracking it. Yep. Oh, <gasps> look at these volcanoes. With Stegosaurus creatures? What? Oh, we've got to tame one of those. Oh, the, hold on. There's so many things I want to do here at once. I think the first thing is to absolutely get a picture of this high energy magma that is literally fluorescent pink. Like that is unusual in and of itself. Let's let's hashtag no filter this one. So yeah. So we capture it in all of its beauty. That is fun. Um, second, we're going to expand our companion. Oh no, we have a second companion slot. It's a no-brainer. Ooh, we're out of carbon. Um. Hmm.
carbon, selenium. We need some creature pellets. I am taming a stegosaurus, darn it. We're going to put the whole expedition on pause. Oh, it's a wall of flame. We don't have that hazard protection on our exosuit, actually. We don't have it at all, so... This is probably going to cause a problem. Once the wall of flame gets here, it's going to be really bad. Oh, and it's bad enough that there are... No, that's not a storm crystal. I thought it was a storm crystal. I was a little concerned. I was like, it's about to be bad. Hold on, hold on. No. Here. Yes. You will be my companion. Robbie, Robbie. And we will feed you. And we will take care of you. And we will ride you into the wall of fire. Oh, it's slow. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Everything is literally catching on fire. Yeah. Uh, you think? <laughs> what? What have we done? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, thermal protection falling fast. Um. Look at that layer of ash and soot in the in the sky. Oh, another creature. Yeah, we don't have we don't have a uh, hot thermal protection. <laughs> so, we're just going to get back in our ship for a minute. <laughs> Things got a little squirrely there for a moment. Okay, that's our hazard protection back. Let's go check the ship's log. Let's try to see why they crashed. Hey! Log extraction complete. I'll read that. Life goes on. Day after day, delivering after... I hope to go home soon. The life of a... Is not for one like me. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate <coughs> dropping out of warp. There, there's the sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. The sentinel ships are engaging each other. <coughs> Ignoring us for now. The sentinels appear to have departed. Their <coughs> distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. Don't do it, it's a trap. I'm gonna take a look. Famous last words. Oh my gosh! This wall of fire is gonna light up this whole area. Yeah, this is ridiculous. And we're not we're not equipped for this. We're not equipped for this at all. Uh, we didn't even use a planetary chart. But I'll take these rewards. Absolutely will I take these rewards. This is all stuff for the capital ship? Ooh, hyperdrive upgrade. We've already got three scanners. I don't think we, like, it, it doesn't do us any good to get another one. So we'll sell, we'll sell this one for nanites. And... Honestly, I don't think we need these because I don't think expeditions are in our milestones, but I will take this. I will take that. We'll put that on our capital ship. Um, I'm a big fan of these pink volcanoes, though. All right, let's do one distress scan. Just one. Mm, when I said one, I meant two. 
I meant to. Oh. Abandoned building detected. That's all we get. Okay, well, perhaps that's as far as it goes. Look at that lava. Oh, man. That's just so unusual, right? Like, I've got to get a shot. All right. I'd say that's enough of this planet and probably this whole system. Let's jump out of here. Can we get to the rendezvous from here? No, that's too far. If we just go off the trail a little bit... Let's try this one. We might not be able to find uncharted systems this close to the rendezvous path, but we've got to at least like try to get off the path a little bit because we're not getting much out of staying in the in the trail. Yeah, of course this one's been discovered because we're not the only prudent people to have that thought. All right, well let's see what kind of planets we have: a magma planet, another volcanic planet, a dead planet and a barren planet. Well, we're not even going to stop here, then. There's no point in even stopping here. Let's just go to Rendezvous 3. Might as well. All right. And of course, this one's been discovered by Hello Games. That's what we have. Abandoned, grassy, scaly, torrid. We need that. Hot planet. Terror sphere. I'm sorry, ter terror sphere? What the actual heck is a terror sphere? No, are we tracking the rendezvous? Hold on. Which planet is this one going to take us to? To the Terror Sphere. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. It's got to be an infested desert, I'm guessing. It has pyrite, aggressive sentinels. It's got to be a type of infested desert. I've never seen that descriptor for a planet, though. I'm I'm intrigued. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's let's check it out. Five seconds till atmospheric entry. Two, one. There we go. A lot of message beacons around here. Ready? F I'm ready to see the infestation. Yup. It is. It is an infested desert. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, is that a crashed ship, or is that a land? Is that somebody's landed ship? Man, please be a crashed ship. I wonder if these are bioluminescent in the uh, at night. That is not a crashed ship. That is somebody's ship. Yeah. It's a thousand units in this direction. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to scan some creatures for the money. We'll get some of this fauna cat uh, cataloged. Yes. 
You know what we should do is we should upload all of our discoveries as well. 64 nanites. That's all that hasn't already been discovered by someone else. For an infested planet, this one's not as bad as I had seen some of the other ones. Like, you can definitely tell it's got some aberrant growths on it, but it's not nearly as bad as I would have expected. And that's where we're going to wrap things up for this time. Until next time, take care.